There are many ways people get burned. Flames, heat, steam, liquids, chemicals, electricity, the sun. No matter how a burn occurs, the fact is all burns hurt. It is also true that all burns are vulnerable to complications if not properly attended to. That is why water gel burn care products are such an essential part of any first aid kit, box, or station. In assessing the severity of a burn, the way a burn occurs is not as critical as the extent and depth of the wound. The extent of a burn refers to the percentage of the body surface affected and damaged. One of the most commonly used methods for estimating the extent of a burn injury is the rule of nines, which divides the body into areas of 9% or multiples of 9. These numbers are modified when estimating the burn injury for a child. The depth of a burn refers to how much skin the wound has penetrated. Human skin has two layers, the epidermis and the dermis, which overlies the subcutaneous tissue. Burns that destroy the epidermis and the upper layer of the dermis are considered superficial or partial thickness burns and are usually red in appearance. Intermediate partial thickness wounds destroy the epidermis and the mid portion of the dermis. These burns are often characterized by blisters. Deep partial thickness wounds extend to the lower portions of the dermis. These wounds are usually marbly white in appearance. Full thickness wounds extend through the entire dermis and can affect underlying structures such as fat, muscle, and bone. These wounds often have a leathery dry appearance with the edges depressed from the unburned area and can be life-threatening depending upon the extent and area involved. Even when the source of a burn is removed, the heat from the burn can continue to feed upon itself, going deeper into the skin. That is why in all instances, the first aid goal is to stop the burn progression, to stabilize body temperature, and to ease the pain. Most traditional first aid burn protocols recommend a series of four steps to eliminate the burn source and to begin treatment prior to seeking medical attention. First, flames must be extinguished on a victim and his or her clothing. The drop and roll technique is recommended for this purpose, and generally, a dry blanket is used in conjunction with this procedure. Second, once the flames are out, the victim should be cooled to prevent burn progression and to ease the pain. For this step, Commonly, a sterile sheet and saline water are used. Third, the wound should be kept covered, often with the same sterile sheet, in order to prevent contamination from airborne bacteria. And finally, since the skin temperature is reduced, often a woolen blanket is again placed on the victim to help stabilize the temperature and to help prevent the patient from going into shock caused by hypothermia. Water gel fire blankets are designed to accomplish exactly the same four goals in one simple step. Water gel fire blankets as well as water gel burn dressings combine a scientifically formulated gel with a special carrier material to form an efficient one-step emergency burn care system that can be used effectively on any degree burn. Please note, however, that with a chemical burn, the wound must be flushed thoroughly prior to using water gel. The water gel is recognized by the FDA as a class one medical device for first aid emergency burn care. It is classified as a medical device because water gel contains no active ingredients or drugs. It helps to stop burn pain by cooling the skin. Water gel accomplishes the goals of the four step process in the following manner. When placed on a burning victim, water gel immediately extinguishes the flames. It also begins to ease the pain and cool the skin through a process known as heat transference. Water gel actually draws the heat out of the burn, helping to stop the burn from progressing. This is in sharp contrast to traditional first aid methods, 
that simply cool the surface skin uncontrollably by using saline as an evaporating agent. Water gel also protects the wound from airborne contamination by covering the wound and creating a barrier which prohibits contamination from airborne sources. The gel is water soluble and the blankets or dressings will not stick to the wound. They may be placed directly over burnt clothing. Since water gel contains a softening agent, in many instances, it eases the removal of clothes when the victim reaches the doctor's office, hospital, or burn center. It therefore makes the debridement procedure easier and less painful for the victim. Since water gel blankets use a woolen carrier, they also serve as insulation, stabilizing body temperature by creating a wetsuit effect. The fact that water gel accomplishes the four-step procedure with a one-step product is critical in times of stress. It is also especially valuable as a time saver in instances where multiple victims are involved. Water gel requires no special training to use, so it is ideal for industries and businesses. In fact, many industrial customers report that water gel is so easy to use and effective, workers are often back on the job in less time than with many other products. The product's efficacy, plus the ease of storage and transporting, also makes it extremely popular with emergency medical units, firefighters, and militaries throughout the world, as well as individuals who recognize its value as a first aid product for home and personal use. Water gel fire blankets are a unique one-step solution to first aid concerns that arise when a victim suffers extensive burns. As mentioned previously, when a water gel fire blanket is placed on a burn victim, it extinguishes any flames. Unlike dry blankets that simply smother the flames, water gel wets and cools the body and clothing to prevent reignition, and there is no need to obtain and apply water or saline from a separate source. When the blanket is placed around the victim, it cools the burn and eases the pain. As the pain subsides, often the victim becomes more calm since water gel cools through transference rather than evaporation, the skin temperature is lowered to normal body temperature and stabilized. This reduces the risk of hypothermia. In contrast to the water gel method, traditional use of saline creates uncontrolled cooling, which may cause the body temperature to drop rapidly and indiscriminately. With water gel, the covered wound is also protected from airborne contamination. The fact that water gel blankets are easy to use is critical not only from the point of view of speed, but also because people at the scene of a burn, both victims and rescuers, often are severely stressed and may be unable to practice the four-step routine properly. This can lead to further pain and injury. Considering all the tasks a single water gel blanket performs, and the fact that it eliminates the need to purchase separate dry blankets, sterile sheets, and water or saline, Water gel is unquestionably an economical and cost-efficient way to provide first aid for burns. The water gel fire blanket consists of a 100% wool carrier and a gel formula that is composed of approximately 95% deionized water. Since the gel is water soluble and contains softening agents, it is easily removed without causing re-injury to the wound. Now, this makes emergency room procedures, including debridement, easier, as does the fact that patients are often calmer and easier to treat because they are in less pain. The fire blankets come in space-saving canisters and foil pouches and have a shelf life of three years for medical purposes and five years for rescue or firefighting use. When exposed to the elements, water gel will freeze at five degrees, but is still effective upon thawing. Now, these fire blankets are available in three sizes. An eight foot by six foot heat shield available in canister only. A six foot by five foot blanket plus in canister or pouch. And a three foot by two and a half foot burn wrap in canister or pouch. Using a water gel fire blanket is fast and simple. If the fire blanket is in a canister, just grasp the cover latches on opposite sides of the canister. At the same time, push down on the lid with your thumbs, then pull up on the latches. 
The same procedure is repeated with the other two latches. Remove the lid and tip the canister on its side so the inner bag slides out of the canister. Rip open the plastic inner bag at the notches that are marked tear here. Pull out the water gel blanket and apply it to the burned areas of the victim. The blanket is already unfurled. If the victim is on fire, he or she should be dropped to the ground while wrapping water gel around the body. The blanket should always be molded to the victim. And remember, do not waste time removing burned clothing. Any water gel gel remaining in the plastic bag should be poured over the blanket. The fire blanket should be kept in place as the victim is transported to an emergency medical facility. The water gel also offers first aid burn care in a variety of sterile burn dressings. The dressings are made with the same scientifically formulated gel used in water gel fire blankets. The carrier for the gel is a medical grade non-woven polyester. Water gel dressings are packed in clean room environment in heavy duty foil packets that are terminally sterilized. There are five different size dressings. 2 by 6 inches, 4 by 4 inches, 4 by 16 inches, 8 by 18 inches, and a 12 by 16 inch burn dressing for facial burns. This special dressing allows for free access to nasal passages, mouth, and eyes. And like all water gel dressings and fire blankets, it will not irritate the skin or the eyes. The dressing's individual foil packets are easy to carry and to store. When a burn occurs, tear open a packet at the marked notches and apply the dressing to the wound. Pour the remaining water gel from the packet onto the burn dressing. You can secure the dressing to the burned area with a conventional bandage. The bandage should be snug, but not tight. Seek medical attention as necessary. Water gel burn dressings ease the pain of burns as they protect the covered wound from further contamination. And because they require no separate water source, they can be used anywhere.